So I don't think we should worry about them feeling um, confident and safe and secure. That's always a good thing. It helps them process information and it helps them get on with their lives. But equally, um, I think it's healthy, especially if they've got that attitude, to start to bring some of those conversations in in a more casual way around the dinner table, you know, sitting in front of the TV, um, reading a book, so that they're starting to get some of the concepts that they'll need to think about this properly. And if a child does say to you, look, mum, dad, am I going to die? In any context, really, what's the answer to that? I always find that very difficult to work out. Well, I'm sorry to be such an academic, but the first thing to do is not to panic when you hear that question. Because if someone asks you that question, the first thing they see in you is you're overcome by fear, then probably they've come to a conclusion that, yes, they might very well die. But if you can get that right, then you, know, you need to address that question. Question. You need to talk about the fact that they're very unlikely to die. Uh, people are dying and we need to be careful to, in our behaviours, in the way that we're responding and uh, to protect them. We need to be concerned about elderly people and make sure they're protected and bring them into a discussion about living and death. It's an interesting thing. The more we talk to children about death in a mature way, the less they fear it. And there's some good data around that. OK, Professor Mark Derone, I could talk to you all day, but I'm afraid we're out of time. It's so interesting. Such a good, interesting topic. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, there are still moments of hope and positivity around the world. There certainly are. And our reporter, Sylvia Lennon-Spence, takes a look at how some people are helping out others, including some pretty big names in the music industry. Uh, so what songs do you want to hear? Virtual gigs are a new craze. The music is live, in real time, and you can watch from the safety of your own home, while getting a sneak peek into the homes of megastars like US singer John Legend.